So many Mexican recipes call for lampriar. So what is lampriar? Lampriar means to dip something in a beaten egg batter, which is made simply by separating the whites from the yolks of the eggs, beating the whites very, very stiff, and then adding the yolks one at a time. Classic way of making a chile relleno, you know, like from the, the typical chile relleno from the Tex-Mex or Northern Mexican cuisine. So then you dip the vegetable or, or whatever, or coquette, whatever you're doing, and in a little bit of flour, dip it in the egg batter very carefully, and then you fry it. And then you have this fluffy, wonderful creation that you will serve with some sort of sauce. Okay. You don't want it to get too, too hard, okay? You want it to, you want it to get hard, but not stiff, like as if you were making an icing. Okay, so now the eggs are pretty stiff, and we're gonna add the egg yolks one at a time. We have six eggs here. Okay, we're ready. It's now nice and fluffy and wonderful and ready to go, so. I have some chilies that are fried because that, so that they can have a nice texture. I'm gonna stuff it with some cheese. I like to use white cheddar or, or maybe some Oaxaca string cheese, but a queso blanco is also good. Then you're gonna dip it in flour, just very lightly in flour like that, making sure that it stays together. And then you're just gonna take it by both sides Dip it in the batter, make sure that it covers it totally. Then you put it in the pan. You know, a chile relleno is really just a stuffed chili. So it could be any kind of stuffing, but this is the, the northern style Mexi uh, Mexican chile relleno. So what you wanna do is you wanna put a little bit of oil on the top because so when you turn it, it won't fall apart on you, okay? This is almost ready to turn, and it's almost gonna be ready. It'll be ready in a second. This is another one of those recipes where you have to be careful what you wear. You can take all kinds of vegetables, you know, like broccoli and chop it up and then make, put it with a little flour and then put these eggs and it's delicious. We're gonna serve the chile with uh, a little bit of uh, salsa roja. You want plenty of it because it's so good and it'll absorb so nicely into the chili. And then we can have the, you just put your chili on top like this. And, uh, and you're all set.